Greetings, folks. Welcome to Modern World Dynamics. Today we're diving into the fascinating realm of evolutionary psychology, as explored by Dr. David Buss. Now you might be wondering, why is understanding evolutionary psychology so important? Well, it's like having a secret key that unlocks the door to human behavior. It provides us insights into why we do what we do, why we think the way we think, and why we feel the way we feel. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? And who better to guide us through this than Dr. David Buss, a renowned psychologist and author who has dedicated his life to studying the intricacies of the human mind. Through his book, Evolutionary Psychology, he offers us a chance to understand ourselves and others better. So buckle up as we embark on this intriguing journey through the human mind and behavior. To fully appreciate Dr. Buss's work, we first need to grasp the fundamentals of evolutionary psychology. So let's dive right in. Evolutionary psychology, in its simplest terms, is the science of why we think, feel and behave the way we do, based on the principles of evolution. It's a bit like a detective story, but instead of solving a crime, we're unraveling the mysteries of the human mind. Imagine you're strolling through a park and you see a snake slithering in the grass. You might instinctively recoil, even if you've never encountered a snake before. That's your brain responding to a potential threat, a response that's been shaped over thousands of years of human evolution. Our ancestors who reacted quickly to such threats were more likely to survive and pass on their genes, and thus this reaction became ingrained in our genetic makeup. Now think about laughter. Ever wondered why we find certain things funny? Evolutionary psychologists believe that humor evolved as a social bonding tool. Our ancestors who could make others laugh were more likely to form strong social connections, enhancing their survival and reproductive success. Our dietary preferences are another example. Why do we crave high-fat, high-sugar foods? It's not just because they taste good. In the past, these high-energy foods were scarce and essential for survival. So our ancestors who had a strong preference for such foods were more likely to survive in times of scarcity. But it's important to remember that evolutionary psychology doesn't suggest we're slaves to our genes. It simply provides a framework to understand why certain behaviors and preferences might have evolved. It's about understanding the why behind our thoughts, feelings and actions from an evolutionary perspective. With these foundations, we're ready to delve deeper into Dr. Buss's unique take on evolutionary psychology. Now let's uncover the key concepts in Dr. Buss's book, Evolutionary Psychology. This fascinating read delves into the mind's evolution over millions of years, explaining how our ancient ancestors' survival tactics still influence our behaviors today. In the heart of the book, Dr. Buss introduces the concept of adaptationism. Just like a Swiss army knife, our minds are equipped with a variety of mechanisms, each designed to solve specific survival and reproductive problems our ancestors faced. From avoiding predators to choosing the perfect mate, these mental mechanisms, or psychological adaptations, have been fine-tuned by natural selection over countless generations. Next, we encounter the idea of sexual selection. This theory suggests that traits we find attractive in potential mates are not arbitrary, but rather indicators of good genes or parenting skills. So the next time you find yourself swooning over someone's sense of humor or bright blue eyes, remember it's evolution steering your preferences. Dr. Buss also emphasizes differential parental investment, a concept explaining why men and women often have different mating strategies. Since women invest more time and resources into offspring, they tend to be more selective about their partners. Men, on the other hand, can increase their reproductive success by mating with multiple partners. Finally, the book sheds light on inclusive fitness, a theory suggesting we're not only driven to pass on our own genes, but also those of our relatives. This explains why we're willing to make sacrifices for family members, ensuring our shared genetic material survives into future generations. It's also worth noting that while evolutionary psychology offers compelling explanations for many aspects of human behavior, it doesn't justify or excuse them. As Dr. Buss emphasizes, understanding our evolutionary origins can help us make more informed choices, but it's up to us to decide how we act. These theories not only challenge our understanding of human behavior, but also shed light on why we act the way we do. If you're finding this content enlightening, do consider supporting Modern World Dynamics. By subscribing to our channel, you're not just joining a community of knowledge seekers, but also playing a significant part in our journey of unraveling the mysteries of the human mind. 
If you're feeling particularly generous today, you might want to consider making a donation. The link is right there in the description below. Every penny helps us in our endeavor to keep producing these informative and entertaining videos. Your support enables us to continue producing informative and engaging content like this. With the key concepts under our belt, let's see how evolutionary psychology applies to our daily lives. You know how we sometimes find ourselves attracted to certain traits in others? That's evolutionary psychology at work. Our ancestors valued traits that enhanced survival and reproduction. Hence, we might find ourselves drawn to physical fitness, a sign of good health or resourcefulness, a sign of survival skills. Ever wondered why we feel a surge of satisfaction after a hearty meal or a good workout? That's the result of our brains rewarding us for activities that contribute to our survival. Our ancient ancestors, who sought out nutritious food and stayed physically active, had a better chance of survival. So, our brains evolved to motivate these behaviors by associating them with pleasure. Our social behaviors, too, have been shaped by evolutionary pressures. For instance, our tendency to form social groups and hierarchies can be traced back to our ancestors, who lived in groups for safety and resource sharing. Those who were able to navigate social hierarchies successfully had a better shot at survival and passing on their genes. Let's consider the phenomenon of fear. It's not particularly enjoyable, is it? But from an evolutionary standpoint, fear has been a crucial survival tool. Our ancestors who were quick to fear a rustling bush or a shadowy figure were more likely to survive and pass on their genes than those who were not. But evolutionary psychology isn't just about survival. It also helps us understand our desires, ambitions, and even our capacity for love and altruism. After all, humans who cared for their kin and cooperated with others were more likely to survive and reproduce. So the next time you find yourself inexplicably drawn to a dessert, or feeling a sense of satisfaction after helping someone, remember, it's not just you. It's millions of years of evolution speaking through you. As you can see, evolutionary psychology is not just a theoretical study, but a lens through which we can view and understand our everyday behavior. We hope you've enjoyed our exploration of evolutionary psychology by Dr. David Buss. Today we've delved into the fascinating realm of evolutionary psychology, understanding its basics, key concepts, and its practical applications in everyday life. We've unraveled the complexity of human mind in an entertaining yet informative manner. Your support through likes, subscriptions, and donations helps us create more such enlightening content. Remember to like this video and hit the subscribe button for more content from Modern World Dynamics. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning.